Good morning to everybody. Now look at what we have here. We have this 2017 Kia Nero. Hi, welcome to this new episode of Hybrid Solution Diagnostic. Now, listen up. This episode is going to be very interesting because we are going to change the clutch actuator fluid. But I want to find out. This vehicle has 90,000 kilometers. Now you have to remember that the drive train is the very same of the Hyundai Ioniq. Now let's compare the Hyundai Ioniq to the Kia Niro because this one is located right up here compared to the Ioniq down there. Let's see if this one will break down as fast as the Hyundai Ioniq. So, you might be curious. So what do you say if we find out together what's going on with the clutch actuator food after 90,000 kilometers? Around okay, once again, facts. The Kia Niro and the Hyundai Ioniq are the very same vehicle, just different body, but the drivetrain is the very same. Same engine, same transmission, same clutch system. Now remember, this vehicle uses three clutches. One clutch between the engine, the transmission to neutralize the electric motor from the internal combustion engine, right? So you can be able to drive the vehicle in EV mode. And then a dual clutch system to shift the gears because this is not a transmission, this is actually a gearbox. But here are some facts. The clutch actuator fluid is located right here compared to the Hyundai Ioniq that the clutch actuator fluid is located down there. So, but you can clearly see there is no actuator, nothing there because it's located right on top here. Now, I am opening up this. It seems dark, but then if I compare this fluid with, for example, the brake of course it has a little filter but in the but over here it, cl it can clearly see it's pretty much clean now this one let me take it out and let's see the real condition of it of course we're gonna change it but the very truth is that I want to see the real condition of this clutch actuator fluid after 90,000 kilometers and never change at all but apparently because it's located right here supposed not to break down as fast as the ionic one so let me take it out and let's compare it so we will continue that so to take it out it's not going to be that complicated just these two 10 millimeter bolts of course i'm going to take out this uh intake air hose so i could put my hands easier on there and let me take out the reservoir however I'm gonna drain the hose as well. So, we will continue then. Let me just take this out for a moment. Okay, so she's completely losing now. Now it's difficult because it's very dusty, okay? But let me just take it out the hose from here. But as you can clearly see, the hose goes down directly right there to the actuator, clutch actuator way much easier than the ionic for sure but so far something i can realize at the moment is that this clutch fluid is way much more clean however it's very dark for sure but way much more cleaner than regular ionic it's thin because it's located right here it's not in front of the radiator fan that probably those aggressive changes of temperature water blowing probably i don't know still trying to find out what is that real trouble but anyway let me, take let me take it out and open it we will continue there so she's out from the hose and let's see well we have a little oh we still have the sticky material over here but i'm still not seeing this fluid as bad as the ionic one but here what i'm gonna do I'm gonna open it right here, live with you guys, to see the real condition of the clutch actuator fluid of the Kia Nero, right? So let's check it out together. 
Here we go. All right. Oh! Uh oh, uh oh, yes. So it still, it still develops some sticky material down there as you can clearly see. All right. So we're gonna have to clean it. Now, I'll be very honest. It's not as bad as the Ionic, but it still break down with all this sticky material right here. But I'm gonna take it away. We will continue. Now look. I just clean it with normal water. No soap, no chemical, no nothing yet. And then look. <laughs> so definitely our theory was right in the Hyundai Ionic because this actuator fluid reservoir is located down there in front of the radiator fan probably pushing water inside, aggressive changes of temperature. It's breaking down the material. Now compared to this one, this vehicle is 90,000 kilometers, this Kia Niro. And yeah, it was dirty for sure. A little breakdown, but not as bad as the Ionic, definitely. I'm still gonna have some chemical because, because I have a tiny little debris over there, but something very insignificant. So let me just finish the clean, clean it, lift the vehicle, drain the hose, and we will continue then. Interesting, right? Okay, so as you can clearly see, the clutch actuator fluid has been fully replaced. It's now crystal clear. Looking good, right? Eh? So, what are we gonna do? Let me just continue servicing the vehicle and for sure we can realize now that the clutch actuator fluid doesn't break down as fast here in the Kia Niro compared to the Hyundai Ioniq. So, we will continue, we're almost done. Oh, the Caribbean is hot, but my conclusion, very easy to determine that it is a fact for sure that in Kia Niro the clutch actuator fluid does not break down as fast as the Hyundai Ioniq. So, way to go Kia Niro, way to go Kia, okay? So, definitely an improvement. Still breaks down a little bit, but remember, it's 90,000 kilometers, and it's still here, a little hostile, but not so much as a, as a Ioniq down there. So, we're almost done. What we're gonna do now is just gonna lift the vehicle, do the com normal servicing, and... I hope you guys like this episode. It was very short, actually, because, as I said, I have a full tutorial changing the actuator fluid in the Ionic, but in the Kia Niro, it's right here. Piece of cake, walk in the park, very easy. So I hope you guys like it. Okay, we have now our amazing TikTok active in our social media, okay? It's hybrid solution diagnostic with no S, okay? Follow our TikTok, follow our Instagram page for direct contact. If you want any information about the online training course right now in September, it's going to begin next week. Okay, and of course our Facebook page. But stay tuned because way much more great videos are coming here at Hybrid Solutions Diagnostic. So I hope you guys like this episode. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Blah, 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 blah. Episode, episode, episode. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll see you then.